Hi, Exquisite Media. My name is Dr. Edu Sueta, and I'm the head doctor of Purifa Aesthetic and Lifestyle Clinic. Hello, Rooney. Thank you so much for making the time for my us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Purifa Aesthetic and Lifestyle Clinic has been around for half a decade. How do you see the clinic's development in the past year? So, we actually began our journey in late uh, September of 2019. Mm -hmm. So, basically, we grew up in the pandemic. It was a tough moment and we never really grew up uh, up until our potentials. Mm -hmm. So, this past Two years I think after the pandemic is finished mm -hmm. then we begin to develop more mm -hmm. we begin to see more patients and thankfully we are still here up until now yeah so basically what I say is just it's been an amazing journey mm -hmm. yeah and we are grateful that we are still here mm -hmm. and hopefully we will be more stronger than ever nice. yeah. the aesthetic care industry is developing so fast how do you keep up with the trends and decide which one is legit or which one is not? So basically, mm -hmm. nowadays there are so many arrays of product mm -hmm. and machines and every technology is possible. So we really need to know uh, which one that is legit or not. Basically, you need to be updated with the conference, mm -hmm. with the workshop, with every uh, development in aesthetic industry. Mm -hmm. So uh, I always try to attend international conference at least once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. And then domestic conference at least one or twice a year. Mm -hmm. So in these conferences, you can see uh, the sharing from the expert and you can see the newest updated technology. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, then you have to choose. You have to be very choosy. Mm -hmm. You have to choose which one uh, is you think can be applicable in your clinic. Right. Uh, and then, then you need to try it. Mm -hmm. Like it or not, it's also you need to try and can you apply this technology to your patients? And will it be also uh, doable? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For instance, if the technology is really good, mm -hmm but it will be unapplicable because it's too expensive, then I will not uh, bring it to Puriva. So I will have to make sure that the technology is applicable and effective and also cost effective. Nice. Mm. What is the latest aesthetic treatment you would like to recommend? And please elaborate. Now we live in the era of collagen stimulations. Mm -hmm. So uh, I always uh, will like to uh, give recommendations to my patients usually when they come mm -hmm. as much as we can to stimulate the collagen mm -hmm. yeah now we have a lot of modality to stimulate the collagen mm -hmm. whether it's with machine based treatment or with injectables what's the difference between the uh, okay. machine and so basically when a patient comes to me mm -hmm. then we have to choose mm -hmm. based on the patient's individual conditions right whether they have a laxity problem mm -hmm. or where they have already the dissensus of the skin. Mm -hmm. So based on that, mm -hmm. then we will choose mm -hmm. which one first, okay. whether we will use the machine-based treatment, which is can also stimulate the collagen, mm -hmm. or we're going to do the direct injectables oh, to do collagen stimulations. I see, yeah. I see. Okay. So I heard there are uh, different kinds of collagen stimulators. Uh, can you elaborate on uh, the difference and the benefits and basically what they do? So basically, we need to know the, the theory of collagen stimulations mm -hmm. like this. Collagen stimulations happens naturally within our body. Mm -hmm. yeah. But as we grow older, mm -hmm. of course, our body getting a little bit more lazy. Right. Then we need to stimulate it. Mm -hmm. Now, we can stimulate this, as I told you before, mm -hmm. we can stimulate this with machines. Mm -hmm. For instance, we have HIFU. Have you ever heard of HIFU? Yeah. HIFU is High Intensity Focus Ultrasound. Mm -hmm. It's also collagen stimulations. Basically, it sends signals mm -hmm. by ultrasound mm -hmm. to the deeper part of the skin mm -hmm. in order to stimulate the collagen. This is what we call uh, stimulations with machine-based uh, treatment. Yeah. There is HIFU, we have microneedling. Mm -hmm. Microneedling can be used microneedling with PRP or microneedling with the radio frequency, which is right. very, now is very popular. Yeah. yeah. And there are machines-based, mm -hmm. there are uh, stimulations using uh, injectables. Right. For instance, with injectables, we have 
a lot of a race to choose mm -hmm. and which one is the right one for you mm -hmm. then we have to do the consultations but we have now polycaprolactone mm -hmm. polycaprolactone is a material that they use to make a, a thread leaf okay. but now they have a liquid polycaprolactone that can be used to inject and then when we inject it will develop a collagen for you yeah and then we have summon dna mm -hmm. we have hyaluronic acid uh -huh. yeah we have a uh, calcium hydroxyapatite uh -huh. now we have with this uh, type of collagen stimulators it has their own individually uniqueness mm -hmm. and of course one each uh, have a different characteristic right. which one is the best then we need to decide with the consultations uh -huh. Yeah, some treatment needs to be repeat more often than the others. Mm -mm. But for instance, if a patient comes to me with laxity problems, mm -hmm. but with a uh, uh, skin that has too much oil, uh, big pores, mm -hmm. and then he or she is struggling still with a adult acne. Mm -hmm. So which one is the right one mm -hmm. to choose from these injectables? Right. Usually I will choose the salmon DNA. Okay. Yeah, because salmon DNA have the properties to reduce the oil uh, productions, uh, make the skin tighter, reduce acne. Mm -hmm. So this one is will be more appropriate to choose. Now, now we have a lot. Mm -hmm. Now we are in the era of collagen stimulators. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, with the collagen stimulators, you can look young, mm -hmm. look and look better, mm -hmm. but with more natural. I see. Yeah, so that's why mm -hmm. now. I think the paradigm has changed. Mm -hmm. Back then, people loves to look a little bit more artificial. Yeah, yeah. Now, I think people want to look more natural. Yeah. Mm. That's why now collagen stimulators is uh, booming. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of options as well, yeah. yeah. The, the options are endless now. Oh, yeah. yeah. And for instance, you could make people look really natural mm -hmm. and keeping them without having the risk of having too much mm. this is why collagen stimulators are good okay. we want you to be the best version of yourself right. not the best version of someone else yeah. we don't want you to to fall into this this is my principle actually mm. we don't want the patients to fall into oh i want to look like someone else mm. instead i want you to look the best version of yourself right. yeah. yeah because we are unique we are individual mm -hmm. you want to be the best version of yourself, definitely. Okay. Mm. Not everyone has the capacity to do an elaborate aesthetic care regimen. What basic tips that you can share for people seeking to have beautiful and healthy skin and body? Basically, if you want something good, mm -hmm. everything needs an effort. Right. Yeah. So there is no easy way. There is no like uh, there is no nothing good mm -hmm. that you can achieve without any effort. Yeah, so in my opinion, aesthetic treatment is supposed to be like a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be like going to the gym, for instance, or doing exercise. Right. You need to do this also with the continuity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my suggestions to people, if they want to make their quality of the skin, first thing first, you need a lifestyle modifications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you cannot only have a good skin, mm -hmm. but without having to live uh, healthily. Yeah. So you need to also focus on your health. Mm -hmm. You need to do exercise, you need to eat balanced food, you also need to do recreational once in a while. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we need a lifestyle modifications. Means like we know for sure that the sun mm -hmm. is one of the major enemy yeah. for the skin. Mm -hmm. So you need to also put sunblocks mm -hmm. and then avoid too much sun tanning for instance. Yeah, if you want a good skin, if you keep frying your skin under the sun, there won't be any good. Yeah, sure. after lifestyle modifications, then we're going to do treatments like routine treatments like mm -hmm. facials and chemical peels. Mm -hmm. And after that, maybe we can do bit by bit other treatment. Mm -hmm. Depends on your comfortable level right. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why it's very important to do the consultations mm -hmm. because one patient to another are different. Uh, mm. uh, and last but not least, is there any plan to open more branches of Purifa Aesthetic and Lifestyle Clinic? Mm, interesting. <laughs> we have something cooking now mm -hmm. and we're going to update you for sure, but it will be soon hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll wait for it. Thank you.